Hi, I'm Guy Gast. I'm the chairman of the New Horizons Foundation, a position I've enjoyed for most of the past decade. I also serve as the Iowa Division President of the Waldinger Corporation in Des Moines, Iowa. The New Horizons Foundation was founded 16 years ago, and its primary purpose was to do research that gives SMAC to contractors a chance to grow. And while SMAC, on the one hand, delivers most of the tactical services that allow us to execute in our everyday positions, the Foundation works on those things that are coming forward. The future, where we might be, and what we can do to improve our likelihood of success. The executive exit paper that we just published is a very interesting project because most people think succession planning is about the people who are still there. In this case, we're focused on the impacts of the executive leaving the business and how to navigate that transition. Particularly interesting to me is the fact that most of us who've been in the business for a long time take for granted the culture of the business, what the business is, and how it will be shaped or perform after we leave. So important for us is to think about how we make that transition successfully, both for the sake of the company and for the executive who's leaving. My name is Ariana Thompson and I am a leadership specialist with FMI. We interviewed over 20 CEOs in the construction and engineering industry to try and understand what makes a really good handoff from one executive to the next. Our study captured five main themes from our interviews with these 20 plus CEOs from our industry. First, that you need to have the groundwork and foundations for your succession planning. And that starts early and involves a lot of different components around just making sure you've got a talent pipeline, you understand your roles, and you're looking at who you have in the pipeline in terms of successors. One CEO summed it up well. He said, executive transitions are like a relay race. You have one shot to pass the baton. You must hand off the baton within the right section of the relay track, and you only have one chance to do it. You don't want to miss this opportunity, but you also don't want your successor to begin where you began. You want the individual to start off where you left off, where you stop being the CEO. You want that person to go beyond where you ever could. The second theme revolves around transition planning itself. So taking the time and money and energy to invest in this process and invest in your organization. The third theme is around cultivating the ideal predecessor mindset. So it's really easy for executives to get really caught up in Anticipating the transition and just embodying different roles in their organization. The ideal predecessor mindset is to kind of take a step back, look at the next generation and say, it's a great opportunity for new ideas um, to come and push our company forward. The fourth theme is around making the transition. Before, this was kind of a black box. Like, what does it mean to make a transition? Is it simply just handing over the keys to the castle? or does it involve a slow, gradual process? And what we discovered is the most successful companies were ones that did take it as a slow, gradual process. We highly encourage leaders to think at least seven to 10 years in advance of their actual transition. And that will be shocking to a number of leaders, many of whom will believe that it's as simple as identifying your successor. Maybe you take a, a six months to a year to get them ready. You introduce them to external relationships. You make sure the organization feels good about them. But what we found is that it takes longer than most people think. It takes longer to develop talent. It takes longer to make sure that they've built the critical relationships that they need to be successful, both external as well as internal relationships. And then we also encourage a long timeline because it is highly likely that you will make some mistakes when it comes to the plan. You may select the wrong person. You may not be ready to go. You may, the business may change significantly while you're in the middle of the plan. So the only thing we know for sure when it comes to transition is that your plan will change. Theme number five is around helping the predecessor look forward. So a lot of these executives have been in the construction industry their entire life. A lot of times they built their company from the ground up, have been in their role for 30, 40 years, and this is their whole life. This is their whole identity. 
So for that reason, it's important that we really empathize with these leaders and understand that this is a challenging transition for them. And there's gonna be a lot of personal issues that are involved in this just inherently. So a lot of times we wanna separate business with personal, but in this case, it's important to recognize that they're interconnected and that we have to consider this for our top executives, even though it might not always be the most comfortable thing for them. On the surface, most people would think the executive would be the one to benefit. It's his benefit to pass the torch successfully. In reality, this white paper is for everyone who might be interested in being part of a long-term successful organization. It's going to be a lot of different people in the company that are affected, both from a personal growth standpoint and from an opportunity standpoint. So we have everyone in the industry who should pay attention and figure out how do we do this uh, successfully and in my mind, gracefully.